school assembly show called Adventures Around the World, in which I show a piece of paper that was folded this way, we think, centuries ago. Centuries ago. And, uh, and I'm going to make a bunch of designs with this piece of paper, and I think you'll enjoy it as you watch these designs. This, this uh, art form, it goes back to 1710 in France. Uh, and, and the piece of paper is called Trouble With. Okay, first of all, we make for you a fan, okay? Very <coughs> needy when it's hot, like it was this summer, very hot. A little flip on this side and a flop on the other, and we make a small pie pan. A small pie pan. It looks kind of like this, okay? And then you go like this, and you have bookends, and it expands when you get more books. Now, if I take the paper like this, a little flip and a flop, a crimp and a crease, we make a different series of designs. The next one I call something that's very, very helpful when you're hot and you're thirsty. What really quenches thirst is water. So here we have a water jug, all right, and a hair dryer goes like this. <laughs> Grandmother's bonnet. Hell yeah, folks. <laughs> we had a water fountain in the school that I went to, and every time you'd lean over and get a sip of water, you'd get drenched. you get it all in your hair, your clothes, your face. We had a name for it. We called it Old Face Full. <laughs> there you go. All right. This is a parachute. It could be a mushroom or an umbrella. And then if I pull a fold out over here on this side, I have my pretend accordion. See if you can name the tune that I am playing on my accordion, all right? It's a very popular song, and uh, in fact, we went to see the program last night uh, down in Charlotte. White Christmas, right. All right, and then when ladies go into the shower and they don't want their hair to get wet, what do they do? They put a shower cap on. Harry, what did you do with the soap, huh? Where's the soap? Right. I pull a fold in on this side and pull one out on the other, and we've got something, uh, a, a series of different designs, completely different from what we just had. The first one is very helpful when you have peanut shells and popcorn kernels all over the living room floor and you go in to clean them up and what do you do? You get a broom and you get a dustpan if you don't have a vacuum cleaner and you go zip, 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 zip. And I go like that and I got a scoop to scoop peanuts and popcorn and ice cream. And over like this we're flipping pancakes in the kitchen. Uh-oh, that one's stuck up there on the ceiling. <laughs> well, I'll scrape it off after the program. Here's a beautiful face. Looks kind of like this. And then we pull a fold out on this side and make something to cook with in the winter when it's cold. And boy, has it been cold this week, huh? I'm telling you. It seemed like it was cold last week, too. I believe it's been about two weeks of cold. Yeah. And next week, too. Wow. Okay, well, you want to have a little soup or stew? Here's your stew pot, complete with a handle. See? The stew pot. And when you go over to Spencer and you ride the train, who comes up? Huh? It's the conductor. Tickets, please. Give me your tickets here. Tickets, please. Tickets, tickets, please. All right, now I'm going to pull all the folds out. There's really not time enough to do all of the folds. You could just go on and on and on, and then people will go to sleep and be bored and everything else. You might be bored by this so far, but I thought you'd find it kind of interesting. This next one is called an hourglass. You pretend that this is glass and there's sand in there and it drifts from the top and it gets to the bottom and when it's all in the bottom, you turn it like this and the sand begins to drift again. These are the days of our lives. <laughs> Dumbbells to do weightlifting. <laughs> all right, you're going to a big party and you put a big hat on and uh, you walk in, everybody will surely see you, and you say, hey, where's the party, huh? <laughs> All right, now, here's a, a beautiful bird. There's, there's hundreds of birds you can do, but this is a swan. Okay, see? Okay, now I'm going to close with this last design. This is the Indian war bonnet, 
or Indian headdress that looks kind of like this. Kind of like this. All right? Got to get all the folds done in. And sometimes they kind of get stuck on you. And then hold on. It's just a piece of paper. And then you'll see the Indian headdress or Indian war bonnet looks kind of like this. <laughs> okay? And that's paper 